Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. This time I'm playing Squad Deathmatch on... Wait, what's this map? <laughs> um, this is actually White Pass. Uh, there was a recent patch for the server, or er, the PC version of this game, and uh, they drastically changed this map in terms of uh, its kind of color scheme and time of day. I think it looks really nice, and it the, the changes really differentiate this map from the other snow maps in this game uh, which I like because I was getting a little bit tired of the blue snow maps and the light brown desert maps and then the all green island maps or tropical jungle maps so I'm glad that they mixed it up I like the change um, and hopefully in the future they'll they'll change more of the maps and just keep mixing it up and keeping things fresh um, Something that I noticed about this game that's kind of bothered me, not really bothered me, but I just don't really understand the decision that DICE chose to make, but um, I unlocked every single item, every single weapon unlockable by level 22 in this game, and there are 50 levels, and it takes a long time to level up, so I don't really understand why they made it <coughs> um, so that for the final, you know, 20, 30 levels of the game, you don't unlock anything. thought that was a little weird. Maybe you guys can leave some feedback in the comments. Tell me what you think about that and your experience uh, trying to unlock everything in this game. Maybe if they were to include camos or something, I don't know. I mean, I know they have all the medals and you can get the gold stars and stuff for your weapons, but that doesn't really do anything for you in-game. But anywho... Um, <coughs> Like I said, there was a patch for the PC version. It made a number of changes. Uh, I'm happy about most of them, but some of them seem to be kind kind of poorly Im implemented. They changed the chat box for the PC version. I'm I'm guessing that you console players don't have a chat box because you don't have keyboards. Um, but they changed the chat box, and I like the change from like a design standpoint in terms of. Uh, you know, it allows you to use the chat box while you're dead, which was a major annoyance for me in the past. But the downside is that it creates a translucent, like, rectangle over the screen that makes the graphics look kind of crappy. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't look very good. If You can probably see it on the screen right now. Um, but there's a big square, <laughs> and it it's, like, blue-tinged, and it makes everything underneath it look kind of blue and it's very distracting to me I don't know I'm a graphics whore so uh, it might not bother you guys but yeah that's just me um, some other changes they made were they made it so that um, they changed weapon balance on a lot of the weapons uh, not as many as I would have liked and they nerfed certain guns which I didn't feel needed to be nerfed but um, but whatever I will leave a link to Den Kerson's blog so you can kind of check out some of the changes that were made to the weapon balance. Um, and then I'll also leave a link to the uh, the change log that DICE put out. Uh, and there are some discrepancies. I don't really understand them. Den Kerson says that certain weapons were changed, um, that DICE said weren't changed, and vice versa. But yeah, that's a little bit te too technical, and I thought you guys might be bored by that. But Anyway, um, I thought this gameplay was pretty good. I joined this match pretty late, um, so I wasn't able to top the charts like I uh, usually like to when I'm going for gameplays for you guys. But I went on an 11 kill spree, so I thought you guys would want to see that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and there, it just got ended, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, I've been playing some other games lately. I'm getting... A little bit burned out on some of these first person shooters and I like to mix it up every once in a while so tell me if you would be interested in watching Mirror's Edge gameplay commentaries or Burnout Paradise gameplay commentaries Batman uh, Bioshock I have a number of games um, I'll leave a list in the description as well and you can kind of pick and choose so I'd really appreciate your, appreciate your feedback on that just so I can kind of tailor what videos I'm gonna be making in the future 
But uh, yeah, that's the end of the game. I went 13-3. and That's KDR 4.33. Hope you like the gameplay, and I'll see you later. Bye.